Hello everyone. Welcome back again. Let us start the summary video of chapter number 15, Introduction of Graph. So in this chapter, we have learned different types of graph. In this different types of graph, bar graph, as we know, there are two types of bar graph, single bar graph and double bar graph. Next, pi graph, histogram, line graph, linear graph. Next, we have learned about coordinates, which we can represent in the first bracket x, y, where x is the coordinate of x axis and y is the coordinate of y axis. Last, we have learned the application of graph. Let me tell you one thing in this chapter bar graph, pi graph, histogram. Already, we have learned in the chapter number 5 data handling. So we will start our summary video from line graph. Okay, so start from line graph. Line graph, the graph display data that changes continuously over periods of time. Here we have taken data from one week that temperature of seven days in a week. So days Monday from Monday to Sunday we have taken temperature. Monday 38, Tuesday 35, Wednesday 30, like that up to Sunday 36 degree Celsius. Now we are going to represent this data in a graph. So here along with the x axis we have taken the days and along with the y axis we have taken the degree centigrade means the temperature. Now you can see here I have put uh, the his line, dot line here because I need the measurement from 26 that's why here I put this mark that means it can continue up to 0 but that much no need to draw here. So now let's plot the point over here so Mon from Sunday Sunday it is 36 degree so Sunday it is coming here 36 degree Monday 38 so Monday is here just go up and 38 is your here so this is the point for monday like that up to saturday 35 degree we have plotted the point over here and we have joined all the point with the line segments so here you can see the points are clustered here in the graph so this kind of graph we call line graph Next come to linear graph. Linear graph means a graph which consists of bits of line segments joined consecutively. Sometimes the graph may be a whole unbroken line. So here you can see some figure of linear graph. It can be like this straight line, it's directed to the downwards, it can be like that directed to the upwards, it can be a sleeping line that like this so examples we can take for this linear graph direct proportions graph which one already we have done in the class in the chapter direct and inverse proportions uh, activity so this is our last topic of this chapter coordinates coordinates are two numbers or sometimes a letter and a number that locate a specific point on a grid means this is our coordinate plane where we can see this is our x axis positive x axis and this is our positive y axis if we extend the x axis after zero then it will come up in this side and it will be considered as the negative x axis similarly if we extend the y axis below zero point then it will go down and it will be considered as negative y axis that means here we can see two axes are there which can divide whole coordinate plane in four quadrants this is the first quadrant second quadrant third and fourth quadrants and uh, that's why here written that a, quad, a coordinate plane has four quadrants and two axes the x-axis which is in horizontal way and y-axis which is in vertical way now let's take a point and try to uh, plot on the coordinate plane take as uh, take example 6 
10. So we have to plot this point 6, 10 on this coordinate plane. First, we have 6 is the measurement for x axis and 10 is the measurement for y axis. Whenever we are trying to plot a point on the plane, remember always we should start from the measurement x axis. So 6 here, here our 0. If we take 6 measurement from x axis, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, here is our point 6. Stop here without moving anywhere. Now check the point, check the measurement for y axis. Here it is 10. So you have to start from here only. So start from here 10 in the y axis. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If you count 10, that means you are coming here. This is the point which have the coordinate for x 6 and for y 10. So this is our required point which, have, which one we have plot on the uh, coordinate plane. So dear students, about this coordinate applications, already we have discussed in the class how we can use that coordinate to get the answer for some word problem without doing any calculations. Is it amazing? Yes. Please practice the chapter properly. Stay safe and keep learning. Thank you.